In a top story this morning, the ANC stalwarts and veterans who are signatories to the document for the sake of our future will be holding a press conference today. The stalwarts will be commenting on the January 8th statement made at the 105th anniversary of the ANC held at the Orlando Stadium in Soweto. Prior to the a press conference, the stalwarts will be holding a meeting to report back to signatories and to discuss the way forward. There has been differences between the party and the stalwarts of late. Stalwarts say two days is not enough for a consultative conference to discuss the challenges that the party faces today. The stalwarts also want civil society organizations to be welcome. The veterans say they are concerned about the state of the ANC under President Jacob Zuma. The ANC has only dedicated two days for a consultative conference that would proceed the policy gathering. ANC's stalwarts have repeatedly demanded a separate consultative meeting ahead of the party's policy conference later on this year. Now, this has been seen as speaking out of the party as the veterans have made their views publicly known. Mandashe says such will not deter the party from operating under its long-standing policies and regulations. We want the National Consultative Conference to happen way before, two months, six weeks before the policy conference. Putting it back to back with the policy conference will not have the impact that is required and will not focus on the issues that are really uh, issues that are eating into the life of the African National Congress. So factionalism is as old as politics, but what is key is that the body politics of the ANC must never be fragmented by the factions. And that is what we mean by unity in action. It doesn't matter how, how in which faction you are, there must be one line of march, and that line of march is the line of march of the ANC.